In this example, we're going to solve this system of three equations and three unknown values, and we're going to do so by using a first step of elimination. So we need to choose one of these variables that seems to be a good candidate for elimination. When I look at the first one, the x's, I have a 2 and a 3 and a 5, which don't really work. None of those are factors of one another. Uh, for the y's, 3 and 5 and 5, well, the 5's might go nicely, but the 3 not so much. And the z's, a 4 and a 4 and a 6. Hey, that looks pretty good. So it looks like our z's are going to be the best candidate to use for elimination. So what this is going to look like, I'm trying to whittle this kind of down from a system with three equations and three unknowns to a system with two equations and two unknowns, and ultimately down to determining the value for one of the variables. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by taking the first two equations. I notice I have a plus 4z and a minus 4z, so those will eliminate very nicely. And then I'm going to take, probably it looks like the first and third equation, because they already have opposite signs. And 4 and 6 have a least common multiple of 12, so I could multiply the top equation by 3 and the bottom one by 2 uh, to accommodate that elimination. So I'm going to do the first two equations and then the first and third equation. Okay, So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and straight up add these two equations. So negative 2x plus 5x makes 3x and positive 3y minus 5y makes negative 2y and then my positive 4z and negative 4z cancel each other out so I'm left with just 1 minus 20 which is negative 19. Okay? So that's one of the equations that I can use. So let's go back here. Now I'm going to use the first and third equation but again, to eliminate the z's, I'm going to have to use a multiplier. So I'm going to get this 4 to a 12 and this negative 6 to a negative 12. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3 and the third equation by 2. So that means this 3 is going to be distributed to every single term. Let's go ahead and see what we have when we do that. So negative 6x plus 9y plus 12z equals 3. Okay, and when we distribute the 2 through all the terms in the third equation, I'm going to have a negative 6x minus, it looks like, 10y minus 12z equals 28. So when I add these together, my z's will be eliminated. So I'll have a negative 12x minus y equals 31. So it looks like now I have a little system, two equations with two unknown values, x and y. So let's go ahead and scoot over a little bit. We'll make some room and I'm going to rewrite this. 3x minus 2y equals negative 19. And then I have this negative 12x minus y equals 31. So I'm going to go ahead and use elimination on this. So it looks like my y's might be a great candidate. I have a negative 2 up here and a negative 1. So if I were to multiply the bottom one by negative 2, I would have a negative 2y and a positive 2y, and those would cancel. So let's go ahead and rewrite the first equation. It is unchanged. And then let's go ahead and distribute this negative 2 through these three terms. So it'll be a, uh, let's see, positive 24x, positive 2y, and a negative 62. Okay, so I see that these y's eliminate, and so I have a 27x equals negative 81. Hey, that'll actually work out pretty nicely. So it looks like x then will be negative 3. So once I know the value for one of these variables, I can go ahead and plug it back in. Let's go ahead and plug it back into one of these equations. It just has an x and a y, and we know what x is. Maybe let's do that into the first equation. So 3x, so x is negative 3. And I'm going to say negative 2y equals negative 19. So a negative 9 minus 2y equals negative 19. When I add 9 to both sides, my negative 2y equals negative 10. 
And a quick division by negative 2 will show me that y will equal a positive 5. So now that I know the values for two of my variables, let's march back over here and let's go ahead and choose uh, one of these initial equations to go ahead and plug my values for x and y back into. And again, it doesn't really matter which one, so let's go ahead and do this first one. So I have a negative 2x, and my x was negative 3, plus 3y, and my y was 5, plus 4z equals 1. So we'll make a little bit of room. So 6 plus 15 plus 4z equals 1. So 21 plus 4z equals 1. So when I subtract 21 from both sides, uh, 4z equals a negative 20. And it looks like when I divide by 4, my z will be negative 5. So now I have values for all three of my variables, x, y, and z. So let's go ahead and write that solution as an ordered triplet. So I have my negative 3, and then my 5, and then my negative 5. And just be sure to write those in alphabetical order, x, y, z. So this ordered triplet, negative 3, 5, negative 5, is going to be the solution for this system with three equations and three unknown values.